I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. Okay, I've got a few little videos to share with you today. Well, combined into one video, but today I'm going to be sharing with you a few fun ideas how to machine quilt some flying geese flocks. So over the last year, I have been sharing every single day for 365 days. Let's stitch a block a day. Every day I've been showing you different designs, how to machine quilt squares, circles, and triangles. And I've had so much fun doing it. It's been a great process. But some of the designs I've had you guys ask are just different questions about, well, these are triangles and they're six inch triangles. How do I quilt this on like a flying geese unit? So today that's exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm going to be stitching out some of those block designs on flying geese. So just modifying them a little bit and stitching them out. And that's really my intent with this whole entire stitch along. Yes, I am sharing everything on those six inch blocks, but yes, I want you to modify these designs and stitch them on actual quilt blocks. So before we jump over and start stitching, I do wanna let you know, I am stitching all of these designs out here on the bottom of my panel for my online class, Let's Stitch Quilt Blocks. So this is a class that starts June 1st, and you can see this um, awesome panel behind me. This is the panel that I am stitching all of the block designs for that class on. Then at the top of the panel and the bottom of the panel, you'll see that there are flying geese. The flying geese at the top are all unique designs that I teach in my class, Let's Stitch Flying Geese. But then at the bottom, there are 25 flying geese units that I don't have a class for. And I don't have a class because I'm encouraging you to all use designs from my stitch along and stitch those in those flying geese at the bottom of the quilt. So I really hope that these designs today inspire you on your own machine quilting journey. There is still time to register for my classes though if you want even more machine quilting inspiration. But in the meantime, let's get stitching. first block that I'm stitching out today, I am using my inside out mini machine quilting ruler. So it, the inside out mini machine quilting ruler is a great companion to the mini four in one machine quilting ruler. They are both smaller versions of my four in one and my inside out machine quilting ruler, but they do have some different shapes on them. So as I stitch out this variation, you can see compared to the original version of this block, I'm just stitching a few less lines than I do on that original because it's a flying geese unit instead of a full triangle block like I had originally stitched the design on. The next design that I'm going to be stitching out is a fun, modified, kind of simple version of block number 80 from my stitch along the slant block. As I'm stitching out this design, you can see that I'm using a really fine thread. The thread that I am choosing to use here on this is so fine. The color that I'm using here is color number 402. On my bobbin, I am using bottom line thread and the color that I'm using on this one is color number 624. We do have all those threads available for purchase on our website, peaceandquilt.com. This last block that I'm going to be stitching out today is a little variation of block number 42 from the stitch along the trimming block. So this block, the flying geese unit, I felt like the mini four in one machine quilting ruler felt, felt like it just fit a little bit better than the actual four in one. The size seemed a little bit more appropriate for this block design. 
The batting that I am using stitching out on this quilt, I have one layer of the Quilter's Dream Poly Deluxe batting. I really love that batting. It's one of my favorites to use. I love the texture that it creates and I love that it keeps its shape so nicely. I hope you all found a little bit of inspiration from this fun video today. Have a great day, everybody. 